my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about problem set 5 refueling of CS50 introduction to programming with Python. If you have any question about programming or about the career, schedule a free meeting with us, the link's in the description. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. So this problem here, we're going to re-implement the fuel uh, th this fuel problem of the problem set 3, all right? And we have to restrict restructuring our code using this way. All right. In the pre we already have the solution for this problem set three. If you want, take a look at the card here, and you can see how how did we solve uh, the the problem. But in here, I did some modifications to apply these two functions. All right. We have all the same things, like we can see in here. All right. But I just added this convert function, and in this convert function, we are converting the the input of the user into a number. All right, between zero and hundred, and we're checking if it's valid or not and we have this other function here that is going to handle the output so if it's uh, a percentage that is less than one we're going to print if uh, we're going to return e in this case if it's a percentage greater or equals to 99 we're going to return f and if it's a number not in these two cases we're going to print the number and the percent all right so if we try it out if we do python fuel.py so if we do this in here one divided by four it's going to return us 25 percent if we do here one divided by 100 it will return us e and if we print here a 99 divided by 100 it will return us f all right so our fuel.py is working i just did this modification uh here we are raising this exception this is another thing that's why when i get here cat and dog it gave us a problem because in the other case we were reprompting the user but right now we're just raising an exception okay so this is it the uh, uh, restructuring the fuel problem but i'm not gonna get into the details because we already solved in the last video all right so the main idea of this refueling problem is testing this fuel uh file all right so we're going to test this convert function and this other function in here and we're gonna use the the knowledge that we learned in this lecture so before we move on let's understand how we can test in python so uh during the lecture of cs50 of week five we can see that they are always explaining how to test things using this assert keyword all right so here let's understand how this assert keyword works okay this is w3 schools one of the best resources that you can use to check what a keyword what is a keyword for example assert break and other words or how a function work as well okay and you have multiple examples so let's understand in here the assert keyword is is using when debugging code in our case when testing a code all right the assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true if not the program will raise an uncertain error you can write a message should be written if the code returns false all right this part of displaying a message we don't need to do this is optional okay but we're gonna use this assert to test if a condition is returning us what we are expecting to return if this condition is not returning us what we are expecting to return we're going to uh, this means that our function isn't working the way it is supposed to be all right let's see this example for example we have a variable x equals to hello if we want to check we do x equals to hello assert x equals equals goodbye the assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true if not the program will raise an assert error in this case the assert will raise an assert error because hello is not equals true goodbye Thinking about another example where we want to check if our function is working. Let's suppose we have the file above. Def main, this is our main function, and we're printing true square is, and we're calling the function square, passing the parameter true. Then we are defining our square function and our parameter is n, and we're doing return n times n. If we want to test the square function, we can run the test, test underscore calculator.py, where we do from calculator import square then we define our main function calling the function test square and then we define our test square function doing 
assert square true is equals to 4. In this test, the assert keyword will return true because the square of true is 4. This means that our function is working the way that it's supposed to. If we change the function with square by returning only n instead of n times n, once we run the test, the assert keyword will raise an assert error because our function is telling us that square of true is true, but it should be 4. This means that there is something wrong with the square function. So like we saw in here, we can test our file, all right, our Python file doing creating another file called test underscore and the name of the file we want to test. And we can run some tests in here to check if our function is working or not. In this case, we're going to test this convert function, all right, and we're going to test this gauge function as well. Okay, so I'm going to start here testing the correct input. So we're going to do this testing in here that we did previously to test if our function is returning 25% E and F. So to do this, I'm going to create here a function called test underscore correct input. All right. And in here, we're going to use the assert keyword to test our function. So we're going to do, we're going to do assert and I'm going to check both functions at the same time. So I'm going to call the function convert. And since we're using convert, we have to import in here. If we take a look at CS50 hints, we have to import convert and gauge from our fuel file. So here in the top of our test, we're going to import. Okay. Now we're able to use and we're going to use the assert. In here, we're going to 